Hi everyone, so these are obviously the axes I forged on the last video. Now what I'm thinking of doing is having like a, um, a series of tests to sort of see the edge retention, see how well these hold up. Which could mean obviously damaging the axes, uh, seeing how well they cut into steel and the likes of stuff like that. It happens if you hit a stone. Uh, not that that's the kind of thing you're going to be doing, but you know you need to know really a good measure. So have sort of confidence in your products that you're making and selling. But what these are here are some Rockwell files. So the idea behind these files is you have different hardnesses. Obviously, you start at 40, they go up intervals of five. So 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. 65 is obviously high end, like sort of. Uh, razors, uh, real thin kitchen knives, that kind of work. For axes, you want, I think, anyway, around 50 55 ideally. I mean, the ones that I've tested, all the other previous axes I've bought, I did a little test over a series of a day or two, checking all the other. Um, my holds broken, and uh, wetterlings and them kind of things, you know, plum. They were around 52 55. Surprisingly, these little axes are coming out around 60. So I'm going to show you now what I mean. It's hard to film, sorry guys, I've not got my stand with me today. So you get the 40. It just doesn't bite the steel at all. It completely glides over it. 45. Same again, nothing. It's just the 50 there. Again, nothing. So we've got the 55. Again, see, it's just completely sliding over. No, no friction there whatsoever. So. Now you can see, oh, sorry guys, it's hard to film. It's just starting to See it picking up on the axe, it's, it's biting into it to be fair. So that's 60, but it's a high end 60, so you're talking probably 60. It's only just gripping it, but it is gripping it. So that's. I was planning on retempering these, you see, because um, you've got the hammerheads on the back. So what I might try and do is do a video, get some handles on one of these. Get a handle on one of these, do some chopping and just sort of see what stuff it can withstand, and then use the back end for forging as well, or just general tasks. You know, see if you can break a rock with it or without defacing it, obviously. Hammering in nails, that kind of thing. Um, so you guys can see yourself. I just thought you'd find that interesting about these files. Um, not cheap, I mean, again, not massively expensive, but definitely worth it, I think. Just for sort of, uh, you know, testing things for yourself. Right then, I'll see you later, guys.